Matthew chapter 2, verse 13. And when they had departed, that's the Magi. They've been warned by God to go another way. Behold the angel of the Lord. That's Jesus in the Old Testament. Well, Jesus is a young child. That's the mighty power of God. You, you, you don't hear about the Virgin Mary. There she is, and, and there's her angel. The Virgin Mary don't have an angel. Saying, Arise, take the young child, not the baby, and his mother. Now, the Magi just left. He's not a baby. They're still in Bethlehem, in a house. The child and the mother, look how it always puts the child before the mother. The Roman Catholic Church re reverses it and flee into Egypt and be thou there until the be to I bring word again yeah to I bring thee word for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him and when he arose he took the young child and his mother by night and departed in Egypt. Now, there's one thing you learn about Joseph. Now, he's not going to be in the story very long for whatever reason. Joseph does what God tells him to do. We've already learned if Joseph has got a problem, the Bible tells us. When he found out that Mary was pregnant, he had a problem. And when, and was it, uh, and was there to the death of Herod? I'll get my tongue back. That it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the Lord, by the prophet. There's inspiration. God spoke. The prophet said, "Out of Egypt have I called my son." Now that's Mike. Uh, no, wait a minute. That's That's Hosea chapter 11. Hosea chapter 11. And look at, look at the context. When Israel was a child, then I loved him and called my son out of Egypt. Israel was a child? We're talking about Jesus. What are you going to do with that one? God's all finished with the Jew. Back to Matthew. Then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men, how many? We don't know. Now look at that mocking. The mocking here is not Herod's a jerk. The mocking is Herod told them, All right, go find the child, come back to me. God told the wise men, Go another way. And they went another way, bypassed, avoided Herod. That's the mocking here. Was exceedingly wroth. Anger. He sent forth and slew all the children. That were in Bethlehem. And all the coasts thereof. Here we go. From two years old and under. At the time the Magi talked to Harry. And everything happened. We get the guesstimation of the scriptures to tell us that Jesus was two years old or younger. That's not a baby.
according to the time that he had diligently inquired of the wise men. So what are you going to do when your nativity scene shows the shepherds and the angels and the cows and the horses and the guinea pigs and Papa Smurfs and, and three wise men? And he's a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes in the manger and the wise men are there. When the Bible says he's two years old or younger. The very fact is your nativity scene, if you're a pastor at church and you put a nativity scene in your church, you are deceiving the people. King James. Maybe not King James. There's the Bible. Then was fulfilled. Okay, here we go. We got a problem here. Ready? Then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremy. That's Jeremiah, the prophet, saying. There's a problem with that verse. Believe it or not. They will say, they will void out the book of Jeremiah because they can't find what we're going to read. Now, when we go to Jeremiah 31, Jeremiah 31, <coughs> verse 15, Thus saith the Lord. Not Jeremiah. But Jeremiah said it through the Lord. A voice was heard in Ramah. Lamentation and bitter weeping. Rachel, or Rahel, weeping for her children, refused to be comforted for her children because they were not. We come back to Matthew. Her lamentations weeping in great mourning, Rachel weeping for her children. It would not be covered because they are not. Now Rachel, Jacob was married to four wives. But Rachel is the one that had his heart's desire. Rachel's the one that Jacob served 14 years. Leah was given to him out of fraud. And also a reaping by God that, you know, over Esau and Jacob, over the, the firstborn rights. Rachel only had two of the children. Of the twelve. Matter of fact, when Rachel had her, her second and last child, she died in childbirth. Another one had to take care of Benjamin. And we're talking about Judah. Benjamin's in Judah. You know, you know, if you go over to Joshua, Jerusalem, the land of the Jebusites, is actually in Benjamin. Judah swallows up Benjamin and Simeon. So there's that. But when Herod was dead, behold, an angel of the Lord appears 
in a dream to Joseph in Egypt, saying, Arise, take the young child, no baby, you got to say that, and his mother, child first, mother second, and go to the land of Israel, for they are dead which sought the child's life, like the book of Exodus. Herod takes one step above Exodus. He's had any child under two years old. Pharaoh is like, when they give birth, as soon as you see it's a male, kill it. If it's a female, save it. Not Herod. Herod's not taking no chance. You know that? Moses was spared. Jesus was spared, a prophet likened unto Moses. What's the prophet likened unto Moses? Both of those male children, under the penalty of the law that they were born, were put under death. Moses, a baby, Jesus at two years old. Moses fled from, from Egypt. Jesus is taken to Egypt. And he arose and took the young child and his mother and came into the land of Israel. But when he heard that Archelaus, however his name is named, now this reign would be from 4 BC to 6 AD. So the Bible tells us History retells us of what date we're, we're at. The Pope has got it wrong. You know, A.D., a Numenite, do whatever it is. You know, zero A.D. is when Jesus was born. Absolutely correctly wrong. Jesus was born before Jesus was born. In B.C., before Christ. Are you going to date your calendar to God in the Bible and it's totally popish wrong? Did reign in Judea in the room of his father, Herod. That's the one who just died. He was afraid to go thither. <coughs> as father to son, as son to father. Notwithstanding, being warned of God in a dream, he turned aside to the parts of Galilee. This is how Jesus ends up in Galilee, up north. Galilee's north. Galilee's in the Israel half, not Judah. To be away from the Roman government that wants him dead. All the world loves Jesus. They do? What do you do in Matthew 2? Since the age of two years old, they've been seeking to kill Jesus. And we don't, I mean, we don't really know the state of Joseph. Was there really still a decree if anybody gets that child? He came and dwelt in a city called Nazareth. Now we get another problem. That it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophets. He shall be called a Nazarene not a Nazarite. Don't go to the Nazarites that, you know, they couldn't let their hair, you know, be shaven. They had to have, that's not a Nazarite of Jesus. Jesus is a Nazarene of Nazareth. He is not a Nazarite.
So to say that Jesus couldn't let his hair, he couldn't cut his hair and all that because of the Nazarite, that's foolish. If Jesus in his hair had any law under the law was, they couldn't, he couldn't round the corners of his hair or his beard. That Paul said, did not nature even tell yourself long hair for a man? But he's not, he's not, he's not a Nazarite. 